Look, I know I was supposed to give y'all the skinny on this cactus and show y'all how it's gonna propagate them and all of that, but honestly, uh, I forgot. Now, if you tuned into the last video, you saw this cactus right here was busting all out. All of these, all of these, uh, this one, it all came from a singular, this singular cactus right here, which all came from this little stump right here that I cut off another cactus like two years ago. And now you're going to think I'm capping. All of this growth on this cactus happened in two years. I know that sounds like cap, but it's not. But uh, yeah, I forgot to do that video. So we're going to get back outside because it's about that time. All right, so real quick, y'all. And we are going to make this real quick because it's going to start coming down. This hurricane season is going to start pissing out here. All right, so check this out. This is Epidendrum. I believe it's Radicans. I believe it's Epidendrum Radicans. And we're going to go into why. I'm not super certain. But yeah, you know what? I'm going to say this is Epidendrum radicans. And the reason why I say that, even though it's like a 80% sure thing is, um, all right, you know what? Let me start from the beginning. So Epidendrum is part of uh, Orchidaceae, the orchid family. And Epidendrum is one of the largest uh, genera in Orchidaceae. And so it's like almost 2,000 species, give or take. So with that being said, you know, there's a lot of uh, diversity, but then there's also a lot of overlap sometimes. But something that's, um, so I, I say all that to say sometimes they can be hard to distinguish. Now, I believe this is Epidendrum radicans once again, which is the uh, fire star orchid, which is, <laughs> you ever see that Spider-Man and his amazing friend? You know, I'm a nerd, so that's an old cartoon man if she don't know about that she she too young for you and if she do know about that she probably too old for you but anyway am i recording is my clock oh okay i am um so the reason i believe it's epidendrum radicans is because uh there aren't too many other species within epidendrum oh shit there aren't too many species within epidendrum that have branches along the stem or not branches, I'm sorry, that root along the stem like this. Usually they just root from the base, okay? Now, this roots along the stem as such. So I do believe that it's radicans, but once again, do not quote me 100% on that. I will do some final research before I publish the video, just to be sure. Now, Epidendrum is cool because, I mean, y'all seen orchids. Or, well, maybe that's a bold assumption to make. Not everybody live in Florida, but uh, orchids, especially in, in the Epidendrum genus, you know, they could be, uh, they can inhabit quite a few different um, um, environments. So they could be, to you know, terrestrial, which is what a lot of plants are anyway. They just live in the dirt, live in the ground and whatnot. Uh, they could also be epiphytes, which, you know, hence the, the generic name you know epiphytes just growing on other plant material and taking their moisture from the air as such and then they can be um uh, uh lithophytes which means they grow on rock surfaces which is actually pretty trill if you ask me um now let me see if i can zoom in a little bit because i want to look at the flower structure a little bit more I know y'all hear that thunder in the background. I feel like the art of storytelling part two. Now check this out. This right here, if I can focus, get my camera to focus. This right here is the labellum, all right? It's just a little lip, and it is just a modified petal, for real. Obviously, you can tell it's different from the other petals. It's a labellum. It's made for uh, pollinators to land on, at which point these two uh, pollinia right here will fall on their heads. These pollinia are just um, masses of pollen, basically. So this is how they, you know, get pollinated. Now, if this is indeed radicans, Epidendrum radicans, it's kind of a tease because radicans is one of the only species in Epidendrum that doesn't actually produce nectar for pollinators. So it's kind of a tease in that sense, but it still gets the job done. I mean, it's kind of selfish. We all know that one person. I mean, let's not act brand new. So. Uh, what else can I tell you about this plant right here? So, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think because there's really a lot to say about this this genus in general. Um, I tell you what, this uh, 
this kind of inflorescence that is growing on is is racemoid. It looks so, and and the reason why is because it's uh it's indeterminate. You know, it's kind of doing its thing. It's racemoid inflorescence, but yeah, man. What else I gotta say about Epidendrum radicans for real? Um. Nah, I think that's it. I think that's it. We pretty much covered it. But it's a really dope flower. That's that's really why I wanted to show it to y'all. I mean, I guess I could give all the nerd talk and everything to make it justifiable, but I really just wanted to show y'all this flower. This is cool. You know, it doesn't really have any use for humans, but, you know, not everything has to have use for humans. I, I think sometimes nature can just be what it is. You know, it doesn't exist for us. So, uh, shit, it's raining. Oh, I got to get back to my car. All right, uh, I'll holler at y'all later. And now here's the other thing. I just got a shipment of carnivorous, well, not my string of hearts, but I just got a shipment of carnivorous plants. I got some Saracenias. As you can see, I got some uh, Nepenthes, and I got a, well, I got a Nepenthes, and I got some fly traps. Now, I don't actually have much experience with carnivorous. I've had a Nepenthes before, but that's it. So uh, any tips would definitely help. You know, slide in my DMs on IG, hit me in the comments. Yeah.